You're watching Fox 10 AZAM. Okay. All right, Dave, now, once the, the kids get older and they get their driver's license, they get behind the wheel. And I know I sweat it out every day. I've got an older daughter driving around oh. by herself. Nervous. I know. And okay. deadly crashes are on the rise. Yeah, so what's being done to bring those numbers down? We're live with AAA after the break. Well, new this morning, it's Teen Driver Safety Week, but unfortunately, not every teen is staying safe behind the wheel. A new report from the Governor's Highway Safety Association has found deadly teen-involved crashes are up by 10%. Now that was last year in 2015. So Liz Kodlick joins us now with maybe why and how parents can help prevent this kind of tragedy in their families. Good morning, everyone. AAA saying that teens are making three deadly mistakes. They're speeding, they're driving distracted, and also they're not scanning the road well enough. Uh, Michelle Donati here with AAA. These numbers are alarming because this is happening much more often with our teens here in the Valley. That's right. You have the fact that, you know, lower gas prices mean more teens are on the road spending more time driving, so that's going to result in more teens being involved in crashes. And the distractions. Distractions are huge. Today's teens have grown up in an age of connectedness, so we really need to be looking at this alarm trend and say what can we do to make teens safer one of the things AAA believes we can do is to strengthen our teen driving laws and so one of the things that we've recently asked Arizonans is how do you how do you support a, a mobile device ban for teen drivers we found that nine in ten Arizonans say they support a mobile device ban for teen drivers during the first six months of licensure so that's one thing we we believe that can be done that can create safe driving habits for teens and ultimately be a win-win for everyone and another thing is to get teens to get into classes like the ones that are offered here at Driving MBA. Uh, we're going to go into this other room here. We're going to see Rich. And this is one way, Michelle, and everyone who's watching, that teens can really get a better idea of what distracted driving can do. Because, Michelle, uh, it's a, the leading cause of death uh, for teens in these driving accidents. It is. So it is uh, the leading cause of death for teens. Um, you can add up the number of deaths by um, suicide, homicide, drugs, alcohol combined. It does not touch the number of teens that are killed every year in car crashes. So you know, leading by example is key as a parent. If you are not wearing your seatbelt, if you are texting while driving, your teen's going to do the same thing. Um, and then making sure you enlist the help of a professional. So most people know how to swim, but they send their kids to swim lessons. Driving is the most dangerous thing your teen can do, is going to do every single day. So it's paramount that you enlist the help of a professional like Driving MBA to make sure that your teen gets the skills they need to be a safe driver and create those lifelong safe driving habits. Right, Michelle, thanks. So, Rich, uh, I'm going to get in the seat here and try this out for myself. So i got to put my seatbelt on and everything. What can our viewers expect to see happen here? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to have you driving down this road uh, trying to text. And uh, we want you to maintain reasonably close to the speed limit. And the... Oh. <laughs> Start you're, the car you're, already. You're, yeah. <laughs> okay, we want you to maintain uh, close to the speed limit. Okay. It's, it's 65. Uh -huh. uh, try and and uh, and try and text uh, uh, if if you can text text the the uh, typing test, which is the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. What is it, fox? What is the it, fox? Quick, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. And that uses every alf, uh, letter it in the alphabet. It uses every Okay, okay so what? So we start and, and go. Then, okay, right? you ready to drive? Yeah. Let's go. Not the best driver. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> it was not okay. There's a human being okay, here. Okay, now pick up your... So here, now I have on, to text. Start texting. Come on. What is it? My, my fox? Quick brown fox jumped over. You're doing 18 quick, miles an hour. Oh, right. Come on. I, I was on the break. I was on the break. My quick... That the quick brown fox... Brown jumped, fox... Jumped over the lazy dog. Brown fox... Okay. I can't even type it. Jumped... Okay, I can't even. Oh, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, person in blue car. So does this happen often when you're doing this with teens? Uh, just about every time. Every single time. <laughs> a good lesson, though, yeah? It's a very good lesson. It's, uh, it, it's, it's somewhat contrived in that it, there are lots of things that happen, but all it takes is a second of distraction, mm -hmm. and the, the results can be disastrous. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that we... You know, one of the ways in which they typically will crash is they will cross over the line to the other side with, and end up with a, in a head-on collision. So 
Well, uh, this is a very important lesson, and I think with a lot of teenagers and really a lot of uh, anyone from people of any age, the best way to learn something is to kind of see the results for yourself, and that's something that uh, the people here at Driving MBA do. And Michelle, I think uh, you have a list, I'm sure, of other driving schools on the AAA website that you can send your kids to. So please be safe out there. This is really, really an alarming statistic. Back to you. Sure is.